Dear learners, we start our chemistry class today. Uh, before I start my class, something for you. I want to share a story. A chota bachata bati karita kike. One day, Ukajo father, go to Sochiko of the past bullet, a pole, a bohati purana t shirt deals. Bole ye badge kya, tike. He was quite surprised. How can I sell this kind of old shirt? But सबसे बड़ी बात ये थी वो मना नहीं किया. Okay. He was going to that market and uh, tried to sell this shirt. Before जो बेचने के पहले वो क्या किया? वो उसे बहुत ही अच्छी तरह से clean कर दिया. ठीक है. थोड़ा इस्त्री भी मार ली. और फिर बेच के आया. एक रुपया में वो शर्ट बेच वो बेच दिया तो ही वाज वेरी हैप्पी ऑन दैट टाइम वो घर पे आया जो फादर उनके थे वो फिर से बोले ये बेच के आया कैसे भी दस रुपया में नाउ ही वाज सॉफ्ट वो सोचने लगा एक पुराना सा शर्ट है मैं कैसे इसको दस रुपया में बेच के आऊंगा तो उसने क्या किया सम कोटेशन ही रोट ऑन दिस शर्ट एंड गोइंग टू द मार्केट एक अच्छी तरह से वो कोटेशन जितने अपना टाइम आएगा ऐसे लाइक दैट या समथिंग ग्रीन इज गुड वो बेच के आ गया एक खरीदार था बहुत दस रुपये में खरीद लिया वो कोटेशन को देख के घर पे गया फिर से उनके फादर बोले इसको अभी सौ रुपया में बेच गया तो ऑन दैट टाइम ही वाज आउट ऑफ माइंड तो सोचा मैं क्या करूं ठीक है थोड़ा भगवान का वो जो फिगर है उस पर बना लिया ठीक है और कुछ ऐसे चीज भी जो अट्रैक्टिव है वो साठ पे वो ट्राई किया और बेच किया गया एक डिबोटी था वो सौ रुपया में वो खरीद लिया अब जब घर गया उनके फादर ने बोला इसको एक हजार रुपया में बेच गया तब भी वो छोटा बच्चा मना नहीं किया ही वॉज थिंकिंग हाउ कैन आई सोल दिस टाइम विथ वन थाउजेंड रुपीज द ओल्ड शर्ट जो बहुत ही पुराना था बहुत ही गंदा था वो कैसे मैं वन थाउजेंड में बेच गया हूं तो एक कंसर्ट चल रहा था म्यूजिकल कंसर्ट वो वहां पर गया ठीक है बहुत चिल्लाया जो भी सिंगर थे उनके सामने तो वो सिंगर ने प्लीज अबाउट द चाइल्ड एंड वो स्टेज पे बुलाए उसे और उस पर वो सिग्नेचर कर ली वो शर्ट पे वो वहां पे वन लाख पे वो बेच दिया एक रुपया एक रुपया का शर्ट वो वन लाख बेच के आया ड्यू टू फॉर दट ओनली फॉर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड एक्स्ट्रा थिंकिंग किस डिफरेंट वे में सोचना है The bigger peoples don't do different things. They do the same things differently. तो उसका जो कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल है उसका जो सोच है वो बड़ा कर दिया तो स्टूडेंट्स यू आर गोइंग टू अपियर नीटी एंड थर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर सो कॉन्फिडेंस भी चाहिए सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चेंज है सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस और सबसे बड़ा वायरस है ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस जो सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस है ठीक है अब उसके ऊपर ध्यान दीजिए डेफिनेटली यू विल डू बेटर नो प्रॉब्लम एटर हमारे बेस्ट विशेष आपके साथ है फाइन जो आर एफ टीम है उनका हर एक का बेस्ट विशेष आपके साथ है फाइन ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस डिफरेंट रूल्स दिस इज द लास्ट रिकॉर्डेड क्लास और लास्ट मीन्स अपलोडेड क्लास जो हम वीडियो अपलोड करते हैं ना लास्ट आफ्टर दैट वी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग लाइव क्लासेस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन सेप्टेम्बर because it is only a one way interaction but after that we both teacher and student interact properly ab jo bhi doubt hai jo bhi kuch aap directly hame pooch sakte hain hum bhi batayenge aapko jo item structure maine isliye theoretical concept achhi tarah se i am trying to cover all the things because jab live classes hum karenge different formulas different numericals different question karenge jo bahut hi important hai very very important hai fine to jo bhi aur kuch hai थोड़ी बहुत इंफॉर्मेशन आई वांट टू गिव यू इन दिस क्लास आफ्टर दैट आई 
definitely we we both combine to do some numerical some postures a lot of things right with the proper interaction so it just a theoretical views okay isliye maine wo theory cover karne ki koshish ki jab live classes hoga to numerical questions logical questions discussions jo bhi hai bahut kuch karenge aise hi karte rahenge fine <coughs> तो थोड़ा इंफॉर्मेशन और क्लासेस वगैरह देख लेते हैं उसके बाद थोड़ा नीट के ऊपर जाएंगे फाइन सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग क्वांटम नंबर्स एंड रूल्स फॉर फीलिंग ऑर्बिटल्स प्रिंसिपल पॉलिसन प्रिंसिपल हॉर्स लाइक दैट नाउ वे आर टर्न आउट द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्बिटल्स एंड सम नोट्स यू नो फॉर एस ऑर्बिटल सिंपली फॉर एस ऑर्बिटल एल वैल्यू इज जीरो एम वैल्यू इज जीरो That is according to azimuthal quantum number. That is according to simply magnetic quantum number. Fine. So now we turn on the set of the s orbital. What is its set? Simply s orbital is spherically symmetrical. Spherically symmetrical. Fine. Spherically symmetrical. That means what? The probability of finding electron in that orbital is same in all directions. The probability of finding all orbitals in that orbital is same in all direction. Yes, is same in all direction. You just draw like that. Simply, you just draw like that. So what is the set? That is about spherical. Fine. The size of the orbital depends upon the value of principal quantum number. Simply. For n equal to one, that is about first orbit or first energy cell. Fine, so one s. Okay. If n equal to two, that is about two s. N equal to three, that is about three s. One s is smaller in size than two s, and two is smaller than three s. As you can find, this is the set of the for one s orbital. This is for two s. This is for three s. One thing is there. You just focus. I <coughs> explain the formula later in the in this session also. So there is two s orbital. In one s orbital, there is no node, no electron density. There is no node. But in two s orbital, simply there is one node. This is the node, okay? Fine. In three s orbital, one, two. There are two nodes. There are two nodes. Fine. So this is about set orbital and the calculation of nodes. I explain the formula how to calculate nodes after some time in this session also. So this is about s orbital, the spherical symmetrical structure, and this is about node for one s there is no node for two s there is one node and for three s about two nodes. Okay, we discuss about node properly. Don't worry about that. Fine. So this is the shape of orbital. Why the shape of orbital is spherical? Because if you observe the probability of finding orbital in this orbital is same in all directions. The spherical uh, definitely spherical cell. Spherical cell comes fine, and the node that is about no electron density. You just focus about in one s no node, two s one, three s two nodes. Okay, we discuss the angular node here and how we calculate. Fine. Okay. So now we discuss the p subscalar p orbital. Fine. You know for p orbital l value equal to one, m equal to plus one, zero minus one. That is extended from minimum value to maximum value. Fine. There are Three p orbitals referred as p x p y p z. Fine. According to the Cartesian coordinates, that is about p x p y and p z. And out of them, you can assign any one p x and p y and p z. No problem at all. Fine. And there are three orbitals in p subsection. That is about p x p y and p z. Along the axis, there are part like that. Fine. You know, in space there are three Cartesian coordinates. Fine. Three axes. P x P y P z along axis that is about P x along y P y along that P z. They possess equivalent energy. You know all three orbitals are in degenerate state. I already told you what is degenerate state. That is about equal energy. They possess equivalent energy and therefore have same relation with nucleus. Definitely, if they have at a degenerate state, they influenced by the nuclear at a similar influence or similar charge. Right? Only differ in the direction and distribution of charge. And differ in the direction because that is along to x, that is along to y, that is along to z. So these orbitals p x, p y, and p z. Fine. You focus about that. They can assign like that. Okay. 
you can assign any one that is about px py pz or px py pz or px py pz no problem at all generally we take xy plane that's why this is about pz right this is about pz next the most important point you just remember that two lobes of each orbital separated by a plane of zero electron density i already told you no electron density or zero electron density that is referred as node whether that is nodal surface whether that is nodal plane okay. we discuss later these things okay so these p orbitals are in dumbbell cell they have dumbbell cell and this is just uh, focus about that this is the node this is the node no electron density there that's why the shape is like that that's why the shape is like that fine this is node fine here also node here also node fine <coughs> Simply called nodal plane. This is a nodal plane. Third, z orbital. What are the nodal planes? P x and P y. Okay, you got like that. P x and P y. For this orbital, for this orbital, this is. For this orbital, this is. Right? Just remember one thing. Orbital P x. Just assign like that. This is about P x. So this is the nodal plane. P y P z. You got like that. Right? P x. You got like. That. About P Y, simply P Y, P Y. This is the plan. This is the plan. Fine. For P Y, Z X, Z X the plan. For P Z, simply for P Z, X Y the plan. X Y the plan. Fine. What are the axes there in a plan? For P X, that is about Y Z plan. For P Y, that is about Z X plan. For P Z, that is about X Y plan. This is the nodal plan. Okay. This is the nodal plan. Okay. That distinguishes that uh, there are two lobes in P orbital and double in cell and double in cell. You just remember in one thing orbital and nodal surface. You just remember for two P zero, for three P X one, for four P X that is about two, for five P Z that is about simply n minus two. That is about n minus two. Fine. So what you uh, observe here that there are three p orbitals p x p y p z uh, they are referred to their Cartesian coordinate axis and they are along the axis if that is along the x axis p x y axis p y p z they all are in degenerate state that means they are similar influenced by the nucleus but uh, difference in their direction <coughs> p x p y p z they are dumbbell in shape. In between the two lobes, there is a nodal plane. For P X orbital, the nodal plane is Y Z. For P Y Z X, for P Z X Y. And you also remember one thing that is about nodal surface. For two P X zero, three P X one, four P X two, five P X n minus two. Simply n minus two. Fine. These are the orbitals. They are looking like that, mutually perpendicular to each other. They are dumbbell shape. They are dumbbell shape. So you know, for S orbital that is spherical in nature, for P orbital that is dumbbell shape. Okay. What is the nodal plane? What is nodal surface? I hope you understand properly. You just remember these points. They, uh, these questions are asked in the NEET or entrance examination. So kindly remember. This is about shape of P orbitals, okay? X S orbital, P orbital, not turn out to D and F orbital. So now this is for D orbital, okay? What is the shape? What about nodes, okay? You know in D sub cell the m equal to two, fine. So always it extended from minus two to plus two, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two. So in D sub cell there are high orbitals. And what are they? They are represented as d x y, y z, z x, d x square minus y square, p z square. You just observe here. Out of these five orbitals, the three are in a plane, and two are belongs to axes. Right? They are in plane x y, y z, z x, and two are belongs to axes. Whether that is about d x square minus y square and d z square. In D sub cell, there are five orbitals. These five orbitals are d x y y z z x, d x square minus y square and d z square. These three are in plane, and these two are belongs to axes. Fine. So just focus these three are in plane. Fine. You take care anywhere y z z x. This is about d z y. This is about z x. This is about d x y. So these orbitals are in. X Y plane. These orbitals are in Z Y plane. These orbitals are in Z X plane. Simply, <coughs> these three are 
this five all are in d general state all are five in d general state out of the three are in plane and two are in axis this is about d they, they are these orbitals lying along the axis this is about y axis this is about x axis fine these orbitals is like this is about z axis okay it is actually combination of d z square minus x square and d z square minus y square fine these orbitals fine these orbitals along the z axis these orbitals along the x y axis these are in between axis means in plane fine so in d subset there are five orbitals they are d x y y z z x and d x square minus y square and d z square out of them three are in plane and two are in axis and the shape is double number shape is like double number five out of them <coughs> they three are in between axis or in plane whether that is x y y z or z x and two are in x along the axis they can go through the along the axis d x square minus y y square this is about along the axis and this is about g d z square nodal point is about one for this orbital fine you just calculate the nodal surface 3d xy 0 4d xy 1 nd xy n minus 3 fine you just remember these things nodal surface nodal plan you know nodal plan this is about nodal plan okay no electron density for this orbital for this orbital so two nodal plans for d xy yz and xz for yz xy and zx for zx xy and yz for d x square minus y square two nodal plans for d z square it is about zero nodal plan this is about zero nodal plan you just remember these things okay what about nodal point what about nodal plan for 3d x y this is about zero for d x y one and d x y and minus three nodal plan nodal plan is what simply this is the <coughs> distinguish between lobes right the plan we distinguish between the lobes and there is no electron density this is the nodal plan for two or lobes uh, two orbitals different lobes fine right? dxy xz and yz dyz xy and zx zx x, xy and yz plan fine right? and x square minus y square two nodal plans dz square zero nodal plans okay what is the shape of the d orbital that is about double number and five orbitals three are in plane two are along the axis fine right? You just remember the nodal point, nodal surface, nodal plane. Nodal point is about one. Nodal surface. You just remember these things and nodal planes. You just focus about nodal planes. You have to observe these things. Just one thing. You just remember the main formula about that. That is total nodal surface equal to n minus l minus one. L minus l minus one. Okay. Actually, there are two kind of nodes: singular node and radial node. We discussed these things later, and also uh, there is a formula to calculate angular node and as well as radial node. We we'll discuss later. Fine. Right? So uh, this is about us for today. Uh, what are the things? Simply the shape of the orbitals and nodal planes, or nodal surface, or nodal point. Fine. Right? We observe that the shape of S orbital is spherical. For T orbital, double. For T orbital, double. So double, double. I just want to say one thing that the structure of F. Yes, sir. The shape of F orbital that is about complex in nature. Fine. So uh, the things are not mentioned yet. Fine. Okay. So for S orbital, you just focus about the set, the nodes or nodal planes. For P orbital like that, for D orbital like that. Okay. I hope you have a exact knowledge about these orbitals and their orientations in space. Fine. So just focus here. This is about X Y. These lobes. Of these orbitals are in between axis or the planes. Okay, but here this is along the axis, along the axis. So these are axial orbitals. And nodal planes we distinguish the lobe, and there is no electron density like that. There is a probability of finding, but here it is about zero. There is a probability of finding, we are about zero. Probability of finding zero, zero like that. Right. So this is the shape of orbital. What is about nodal surface? N minus N minus one. So this is the informative information matic sessions for today. Okay, I just want to say something about your NEET exam. Listen carefully. There are forty-five questions in chemistry. Fine, forty-five into four mark that is about one eighty. For correct answer you get four. For wrong answer you lose five marks. You just focus about one parameter, read and observe. 
there are 45 questions you read whether <coughs> that questions oriented you or belongs to you if you solve this please do it <coughs> fine and uh, just second in the second session you focus about the observe the questions what you observe that is some taking some time fine so first of all read and answer read and answer after that observe that question whether uh, that questions belong to you or not fine and the most important thing just focus about the questions and options you interrelate these questions and options after that interrelation you definitely have idea to element two options now two options are left you can choose any fine you can choose the right one huh? you can choose the right one not any fine so you just observe these things okay this is most important thing that you decide i just want to clarify one thing time is not absolute it is relative as like as in the exam situation is not absolute you have to decide according the situations you just think like that, that this is the plan for me i <coughs> execute that never happened the situation is not belongs to you whether that is according to you whether that is adverse of you you have to decide that within that time don't hurry just be calm have patience fine do your best you just think about there is a question paper in front of you you have to solve that things whether i got it uh, some adverse as well that leave those things just focus about your question paper and do your answers okay within that time you just maintain your time schedule listen there are almost 180 questions you have 180 minutes so you just maintain the time set fine and uh, you focus this exam properly and this is the last recorded class we organize live classes after that so that is totally benefited for you we rock someday okay so you just take out these classes properly uh, we have organized a meeting also to inform these things how we conduct this live classes how you people join on that fine and uh, i just want to say one thing that if uh, this classes are going on your track if uh, you just like this classes or arith that organizations okay please join with that organization we hope uh, we explore one day already we have a science house almost 25 iit qualifiers in 3 years and this year recently <coughs> with god sentence uh, all india 240 rank that is about we got all india 900 rank already we got in iits so i hope uh, medical also we rock this time so if you interested in our organization and definitely we assure you we labored hard we giving good service we always familiar with you okay whatever the problem you just uh, tell us we definitely solve this issues there are 24/7 doubt clearing faculties for you right so if you are interested if you think that that platform is suitable for you you explore here so definitely you can join okay with a smile we always start our class also ended our class uh, then after we inform you properly and we organize live classes if you want to join you can contact us the phone number you know that My phone number is eight two four nine six nine. Simply write here eight two four nine six nine four nine two five. This is my cell number. If you interested, please contact me. No problem at all. Fine. Okay. And about syllabus, we complete syllabus within that time. Don't worry about that. So we have a pattern. I just to share the pattern. First of all, in the morning, always a test is at six six to seven. 7 to 9 one class is there after 10:30 i give you 60 questions about that class you solve that questions there is a doubt clearing faculty see if you have any queries you can ask them and go to then after at 1:30 to you just uh, take a lunch and sleep and again at 4 we start our second class in a smooth way we organize classes from 4 to 6 after that again we give 60 questions related to that class and there are all our doubt clearing faculty we are always with you if you 
any doubts, you definitely clear the queries. And at night, resolve, then your study start if you are interested. So if you are interested, please join Narit. Definitely we can explore. Definitely we can crack. This is our motto. Trust us. We trust you. Thank you.